Just before the video starts, I want to tell you guys that if I get 225 subscribers by the end of January, I will be double uploading, so two videos a week. And that's all I need to say, so now to the video. What's going on guys, Ruler of Gold here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Tapu Koko figure collection box. Um, so it has four booster packs, the promo card and the figure, it has two Sun and Moon Guardian Risings, it has one X and Y Steam Siege, and it has one normal Sun and Moon. And the promo card is a hollow Tapu Koko, and the figure is obviously a Tapu Koko. And I'm, I have all of my Willie O Gold stuff on. I have the hat and I have the shirt. So hopefully that can uh, give us good luck to get some good pulls. So I'm going to open this up and get the booster packs out. Okay, so I got the booster packs out and I got this code. So uh, you guys can have it. came with the box. Um, only take one code at a time. And uh, here's the promo card, the Tapu Coco. So uh, it's the hollow promo card. It's actually a pretty strong card. 110 HP, 100 attack on that elect electric ball. So now, um, now the figure, it actually came with a stand so it can look like it's flying. At first it came in a little bag and I had no idea what it was. But then I figured out that there's a little hole in the back of the figure and you put it in. So it looks like it's flying, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open the Steam Siege right here. Apparently a Steam Siege is supposed to be like the worst set ever invented in Pokemon card history. But uh, let's hope we can get something good. So we're opening this pack up here. This set's claimed to be one of the worst in history. See? A solid green code. Um, <clears throat> if it's a solid green, you're not going to get anything good. If it's a white and green, that means you're going to get a hollow card or better. Here's the code. The color doesn't affect the cards that you're going to get in the code. So if you have the app or you go on the website, um, there's a code. Uh, it's X and Y, so it's three from the back, I'm pretty sure. Skip Bloom, Armor Fossil Sheldon, Bravery, Chimchar, Meowth, Hopip, Litwick, oh, camera, camera's acting weird again, uh, Mareep, Reverse Rapidash, and Nidoking Regular Rare. That's a pretty cool artwork, though. Artwork's pretty pretty sick. It's like uh, hand drawn. So that's pretty cool. Now we're gonna go on to the next pack. Okay, the next pack is the regular Sun and Moon pack. So we're gonna open this one up. These packs are hard to open in front of the camera, so I'm doing it behind the camera. Oh my god. Okay, I'll oh, there we go. I managed to get it open. Throw the pack over there. It is a white and green code, so that means we're going to get a hollow or better. So here's the code for you guys. Uh, it's Sun and Moon, so it's four from the back. Uh, one, two, three, four, yep. Yeah. Here we go. Fighting Energy. Piyokumuka Ku. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, probably not. A uh, double colorless energy, Grand Bull, Litten, Torkoal, Young Goose, Rowlet, Cosmog, Reverse Caterpie, and oh, an Incineroar GX right there. Let's go. I actually don't have this card yet, so that's pretty cool. So now we're going to go. On to the two Sun and Moon Guardian Risings. So we're going to go for this one first. 
see if we can get anything good out of it. Oh, that pack I opened really easily. It is a white and green code, so that means it's going to be a hollow or better. Here is the code for you guys. Uh, it's sun and moon, so it's four from the back again. Uh, here we go. Four right there. Okay. Fire energy. Energy recycler. Machoke. Max potion. Mudbray. Alolan Geodude. Machop. Shrubbish, Petalili, Petalil, Sudowoodo Reverse, and an Absol Hollow card. It's not too. It's not too bad. It looks really cool. That's a, that's a cool artwork for sure. Nice hollow there. And now we're gonna get on to the last pack. Another Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. So, uh, see if we can get anything good out of this one. Oh, that pack opened really quickly again, quickly and easily. Uh, first thing I see is a cast form. Uh, here we go. The codes are turned around, so I don't know what I'm gonna get. Here you go. The other one was turned around too, but I really wanted to see, but I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys this time. So here goes, or me, I'm not going to spoil it for me or you guys. So here we go, I got, I went four from the back, Electric Energy, Sligu, Fletchender, Weepin' Bell, Cast Form, Snorunt, Pancham, Litwick, Patrat, Reverse Mudray, and a Waylord Regular Rare. So, that was a pretty good box. Um, the figure is pretty cool. The Tapu Koko figure. The uh, promo card is really cool, too. Um, and the pulls are pretty good. There's There were two uh, four packs, and two out of the four were uh, white and green coats. So, I got a hollow or better. Got an uh, Incineroar GX and a Absol Hollow. Um, so I think I recommend this box. If like you're just getting started on Pokemon collecting, I definitely recommend this box. Cause you know if you're really into figures, I recommend buying this one because it looks really cool. But if you're like more of a hardcore collector, I think you should go for like a tag team box or something, like the one that I opened earlier on my channel like a few videos ago, maybe like a month ago maybe. Um, it was a Rushy Ram and Charizard GX box. Uh, if you're more of a hardcore collector, I recommend buying that because the pulls were much better and the figure looked a bit better than this. But if you're just like a starter collector, I recommend this box. Because I don't think, it wasn't very expensive, so. Uh, so, uh, yeah, see new video, make sure to subscribe to Willio Gold to join the Golden Army. So, uh, yeah, see new video, make sure to subscribe to Willio Gold, and bye!